the cocoa pod. Once each pod has been plucked, it is cut open so that all of the beans and sticky pulp can be scooped out to be fermented in a heap and then dried in the hot sun until they've turned a rich brown colour. There are up to 40 beans in each pod. This is known as the fermentation process and is how the distinctive chocolate flavour starts to develop. Once the beans are dried, they are tested for their quality before being loaded onto a cargo ship to be transported to England. in Turk for processing. Now, first the beans must be sorted and physically cleaned to remove any stones, dust and string that have come across with the beans from Africa. <laughs> this is done by and by passing the beans over vibrating seeds. The raw cocoa beans are now pasteurized using very hot steam. This is done in small batches using special enclosed containers that rotate so that all the beans are evenly passed through the steam. Clean cocoa beans are now taken to be roasted. Revolving tubular gas-fired ovens. As each oven rotates, the cocoa beans are slowly and gently roasted as they tumble through a flow of hot air. This whole process is very carefully controlled as roasting gives the beans their characteristic flavor and aroma. The beans are then cooled and are ready to have their shells removed through a process called winnowing. This is done by passing the little beans over a series of vibrating trays and hitting them with breaker arms. The shell is then blown away and the remaining pieces of bean are called loops. The nibs are now ground up in large mills. This process generates heat, which helps to transform the nibs into a thick chocolate-coloured liquid called cocoa liquor, or mass. Cocoa liquor is the basis of all our chocolate and cocoa products. Some cocoa liquor is taken to our factory in Marlborough for further processing. The rest of the liquor is pressed to extract the cocoa butter. This is achieved in a special state in which the cocoa liquor is compressed under very high pressures so that the cocoa butter is squeezed out and filtered until it's in its purest form. The refined cocoa butter is now taken to Bournemouth, where we will catch up with it later. Meanwhile, the cocoa liquor that has been taken to Marlbrook is pumped into storage tanks, ready to be turned into chocolate crumb. Over 150 tons of sugar and 500,000 litres of fresh milk are delivered to Marlbrook every day to be used in this process. But first, the milk must be pasteurised and then evaporated to remove most of the water before sugar can be added to produce a sweetened condensed milk. The liquid milk and sugar solution is now heated again before the cocoa liquor from churn is added and thoroughly mixed to create a thick mixture. The paste is then squeezed between steam heated rollers under a huge bag. now taken to Bourneville in tankers, where it is ground and mixed into a paste with this, the cocoa butter, which came from Chirk earlier. The paste is then refined into a flake before being conched or mixed to form a liquid chocolate. This liquid chocolate is used to make all our famous milk chocolate products. Come with me and I'll show you how.